All right, guys, so this is going to cover the experiment part of your geometry portfolio, okay, where we're going to cover the law of sines and cosines. So we are asking you to take one picture that includes three different objects in your yard or in your house. And these three items are going to form a triangle. Okay, we ask that you don't pick items that form a right triangle. So go and find three items either in your yard or in your house. Um, make them so they are in a triangle. So here's mine uh, that I did outside. I have a soup can, I have a weight plate, and I have my dog. Okay, and they form a triangle. It is not a right triangle, but three items in one picture that form a triangle. So that's what you're going to do for the first part. Okay. For the second part, you're going to measure the distance between each item, each of the items in feet. If you do not have a tape measure, use your feet and count the number of steps heel to toe between each item. Okay, so I did this without a tape measure. I'm going to start at one point. Here I start at the soup can. And I'm going to measure heel to toe how many steps it takes me to get from point A to point B. Okay, there's three, four, five, six steps. Okay, so I would write down six steps from point A to point B. You're going to then do this from point B to point C and then from point C to point A. Okay, on a piece of paper, draw your triangle and write down the lengths of each sides. And then using the laws of sine and cosine, find the degree measure of each of the angles. So on a piece of paper, you are going to draw your triangle. You're going to write down the number of steps it took you to get to, from each point. So from point A to point B, I had six steps. From point B to point C, I had eight steps. And from point C to point A, I had 4.5 steps. You're going to use the law of sine and law of cosine. Um, find the formulas and write them down for us. Show us your work. And then you're going to find... The angle measures angle x, angle y, and angle z using, again, the law of sines and cosines. And we want to see all that work here, and we want to see your final angle measures on that piece of paper as well. Okay, so you're going to include all of this on this piece of paper. You're then going to, on your Google slide presentation, include the following. Uh, the picture of your triangle made up of items in your yard. So again, that would be something like this. You're going to include a picture of your work on a piece of paper, including your drawn triangle the lengths of your sides, your formulas and calculations, and then your final angle measures. So that would be something like this. You're then going to answer the question, do your angle measurements make sense? Why or why not? Okay, if you have any questions, let us know. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, thanks, guys.